Getting back to the unique contribution the USA Network for the Global Compact can make, it can focus on the need for a vision beyond war and a vision that's full of hope. Because Tom Friedman in the world of flat is flat says the world is missing a hopeful view of the future big time today. America used to be the source of that hopeful view, but Tom Friedman says America is currently pumping out too much fear, not enough hope, and so a hopeful vision is fading. But a new hopeful vision is possible, and that vision can be promoted to the public at large by the USA Network if it outreaches to that part of America's business community with the ability to communicate a vision to the public at large. When Hollywood wants to put out a message, everyone hears it. And that's what the USA Network could do if it reached out to its corporate members in the entertainment world. By doing so, this transformational process could be made fun because any great transformation has to be about the adventure ahead, not just about bad things we're trying to get rid of and leave behind. From Danny Kaye to Star Trek, the American media and entertainment industry has the unrivaled ability to inspire people to boldly go someplace they've never gone before and to help people learn what they need to know to get there. It can make that journey fun. From Danny Kaye's work with UNICEF to Star Trek's work in the business leadership field, as well as even tapping the hopeful uh, views of the man in the picture on the right, he actually got a walk-on part on an episode of Star Trek because he believed in the view of the future so strongly. King Abdul of Jordan, my friends. As far as reaching out to the larger public on issues of change, Hollywood has actually done this twice before in very big ways. In World War II, when new recruits were needed, and those recruits had to learn the skills for winning the war, Hollywood made the outreach and the educational process fun. Before Jack Warner from Warner Brothers was brought in, the government's training films were actually putting new recruits to sleep. But Warner and all of his friends in Hollywood knew how to make education fun. In 1955, when Walt Disney was just launching Disneyland, he worked with Werner von Braun to teach the American people that we now had the science to make space travel a reality. Space travel was no longer seen as a fantasy as a result of the TV specials that Walt Disney and Werner von Braun put together. I'd like you to take a moment to think about what has inspired you to change. What entertainment property, what famous movie, TV show, or maybe piece of music has made you think about how the world could be different? I believe it's inspired a great many of us, and that's why I'm convinced we should tap into this power. So what might a Hollywood UN Global Compact Special Interest Group look like? Well, some of its members would probably continue to focus on stopping bad things, and that wouldn't be uh, a waste of their time. We need to put out fires where fires are burning. But some would champion hopeful things, things we have or are close to having the ability to do. In fact, some members of Hollywood are already doing this, and here's one celebrity who's associated with the Sci-Fi Channel. Hello, this is a thank you note from the future. Welcome to Sci-Fi's Visions for Tomorrow, a new public affairs initiative to engage individuals, organizations, and policymakers in exploring creative solutions to today's most pressing concerns. Visionsfortomorrow.net offers a wealth of information on trailblazing nonprofit organizations and other educational materials. This campaign champions a bold, optimistic view of the future and taps into the unique power of science fiction to help us all envision a better world. Today's challenges have the potential to rob us of our spirit, our sense of optimism, our sense of our own personal power. I believe what we need now more than ever is a positive view of the future. 
Our world is a better place because you embrace the development of alternative energy sources. Fossil fuels have become obsolete. Join us and become a leader of change in your community. What's your vision for tomorrow? Thank you. Thank you. The power to shape tomorrow is in your hands. Discover how you can help at visionsfortomorrow.net. Catalyzing the transformation of humanity. This is the powerful future available to the Global Compact. Beyond meeting standards to creative innovation. Beyond looking for, at the separate parts to looking at the whole system. From improvements we make out of fear to a transformation we make out of hope and the bold spirit of adventure. From killing each other to respecting, learning from, and working with each other. Maybe Hollywood will wind up dramatizing the journey to the future we finally have the ability to achieve. Here's someone who knows exactly how to do that. He's done it before. Look, we were able to dramatize a period piece, 30 years old, about 40,000 people in every state of the Union working towards one common goal and achieving the impossible. Something so impossible it was considered madness to consider it for thousands upon thousands of years. Imagine what problems we could solve and the ills that we could cure if we chose to live the same way the people of Apollo did in the 1960s. Thank you and God bless America. Maybe Tom Hanks will do for the Global Compact what he's done for the space program. Maybe Tom Hanks will be the Danny Kay of the Global Compact. One last thing before I end. It's not just about big celebrities. It's about all of us. All of us being a little unreasonable. And here's something I want to show you to celebrate the unreasonable person inside us all. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. The troublemakers. The round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. Hi, I'm Steve Brandt. Thanks for watching my presentation. My work focuses on innovation-driven CSR brand building. I look forward to hearing from you about how we can transform the CSR and sustainability movements and create global prosperity for all. Thanks again.